I'm speaking here with the parent, Stephanie Sterling from Gadsden County. And um, we just want to get a mother's perspective on physical education in, um, in Yakima County. Why is it so important for you and why are you here today? Well, I'm a child that played outside. My day started at 9 o'clock in the morning and I didn't come in until supper time. And today's society, as we look at children, their activity is not outdoors. It is indoors. Our education system has now been set up where the curriculum is so demanding on their education time that physical activity has been pulled out of the uh, classrooms, in, or the children have been put into the classroom setting and been pulled out of physical activity. Um, being that my dedication as a nurse has been cardiovascular and heart disease, um, I've seen the ec epidemic spread from where it used to when I started nursing 26 years ago. Patients were in their 60s, 70s, and 80s with heart disease, and now they're 35, 40, and 50. Right. And obesity is a big attributor to that. And when we look at kids today, hypertension, high cholesterol is things that we never saw before, and now we're seeing in our children, and we're seeing them get sicker as adults. So physical education is a means to sit here and teach children and to get them involved in activity at least 30 minutes to an hour a day. I think is very important if they get that in the classroom setting. Secondly, from a personal standpoint, when I exercise first thing in the morning, my day is much better compared to if I exercise later in the evening. Right. I just feel like I have the mental capacity. You have capacity. the endorphins, yes. more mentally stimulated, probably more apt to learn. Absolutely. And, and my son's even testified to that as well. Yeah, you know, if he goes and works out at the Y before he goes to school, right. wow, I, I can get through my day so much better. Um, so. You know, I was the old school where I did presidential testing, and that focused and that taught me what I needed to do throughout my life. My children don't have that today, and so I think um, what we're what y'all have been able to do through the KDB um, Reynolds Foundation is absolutely awesome. Giving the kids the opportunity to sit here and know what their physical abilities are, and to learn from that, to be assessed, and to learn what they can do Absolutely. to improve. We believe that uh, physical educators are the uh, foundation of, against childhood obesity. Um, they're in the first line of defense, and if we can you know, in, intervene in that way, we can, we can set, you know, exponential results. Absolutely. And I love it that we have the ability to pull in through through the physical testing that you're able to do to look at does this have an effect on obesity um, as far as their physical abilities. Does it change um, aptitude in school and improve test scores? And does it help with um, children that have um, has tendencies to get into trouble at school. Gotcha. So maybe if they had more physical activity, we could sit here and pull that out and show that this is a means to sit here and help a child improve the social skills as well as his academic skills through the physical activity. Wonderful. Absolutely. And through our ISPOC program, we're going to be examining those factors in the length of uh, fitness levels and BMI. And, um, and we're going to be in Yadkin County soon. And all 115 LEAs by the end of 2012. Thank you so much. It's Thank been a you. Pleasure. It's been a pleasure too. Thank you.